Hi, my name is Ming Tian. I am one of the co-founders and currently the chief benevolent dictator of Harlodger Ming. Which um, by the name of the company and my name, you've probably guessed that um, I'm one of the main driving factors behind um, Harlodger Ming, or we'll just call it Ming. Um, I'm responsible for certainly the long-term strategy, the conceptualization, really the design, presentation and photography of, of all of our watches. Um, we have a group of six co-founders uh, who are involved in various aspects of operations and running the company. Um, the reality is with all of our roles there is a little bit of overlap between what we do because um, various customers we tend to find uh, engage with, with different members of the founders um, you know, to a, to a greater or lesser degree, I think it's just a personal chemistry thing. So, in that sense, we are all involved in customer service, which I think is probably the most important part of this business. We are based in various countries, actually. Um, right now, four of the six are in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Um, that includes myself, um, Jackie, Kimming, and Czech. Um, Pranith is shuttling between Bangalore and Kuala Lumpur, and uh, Dr. Magnus Bossa is in Vienna for the moment. Uh, we're a little bit strange for a watch company because we have a much greater team of people who's involved in the day-to-day -day operations um, on the project management side, on our white label um, client fulfillment side, um, around the fulfillment for us side, you know, project managers at our partner companies uh, such as Chaux um Jean Rousseau and, and Agenhor. We do what we do and we created Ming because we wanted to make the kind of watches that we wanted to buy and have the kind of customer experience that made us feel good about the, the watches we were buying. It's, it's been a very long time since a watch was a necessary purchase, right? You know, there's so many other ways of telling the time, whether it's your phone, your iPad, your computer, whatever the, whatever the case that may be. Um, but, you know, a watch's primary function is really for you to feel good about yourself and to feel good about what you're buying and, and to perhaps um, signal some things that, that are a certain personal choices, maybe. Or maybe it's just for you to look down at your wrist and go, you know what, I really, I really like what I put on today. And um, all of those things are, are absolutely fair enough. Uh, you know, we do it because we ourselves, all six of us, have been buying, collecting, enjoying, getting very deep into, you know, having buyer's remorse over all sorts of, of watches from, um, you know, from the kind of things that, as an early collector, you may not even have heard about, much less, much less covered or dream about, um, you know, to the things that, as an early collector, you would look and go, you know, that's not a very serious piece. I mean, the reality is, for all of us, we have um, very eclectic taste, and I think that it's nice because it's complementary uh, in 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 the group in the sense that we can evaluate our products objectively, we can evaluate uh, the needs of our customers objectively, um, and also it just provides variety because, you know, every, every, every so often you'll have one of your friends come and go, oh, guess what I picked up? And you go, no, really, never? And then you look at it and go, hmm, you know what, maybe I need a G-Shock too. So we have, um, we have very varied tastes as collectors, and I, I think that's, it's a strength that uh, certainly helps us to put on an interesting product and a product that appeals to, to a wider variety of people. Um, but at the same time, it also keeps our options open and, and means that we can produce things that are um, not restricted to a single genre and perhaps a, a little bit more interesting. I mean, we like the joy of object tactility, for want of a better word. You know, we, we like to play with things that are nice. We like to feel a well-crafted object. We like to look at the craftsmanship. We like to look at the um, the detailing, the the, uh, the finishing, the, the mechanical um, the mechanical ingenuity that, that's gone into our watches. I mean, there are times when you want something simple. There are times when you want something a little bit more complicated. There are times when you want something that's, you know, completely over the top and you just feel like, you know, what the hell? I, I, want, something, I want something really special today. And not there isn't one watch that can fulfill every need or every feeling and and that's what keeps us going it keeps us um keeps us designing new stuff I and mean, it keeps me designing new stuff it keeps um you know it keeps our customers coming back for for our subsequent releases and it, it keeps our uh, i like to think it keeps our partners on their toes as well when it comes to um when it comes to production challenges not that we don't give them enough production challenges already and and thank you guys for that for um you know for accommodating our very strange requests <laughs>